Happy fucking New Year's Eve, bastards. Alright, from the look of the title, you guys might be confused, but, um... So the story is, uh... <laughs> Let's start with the story, alright? So, I trained a fucking roach. What does that mean? Did I physically train the roach? Nah, bro, nah. It's just, there's this chick, and, um... I named her Roach because of how she ate and her fucking manners and how she acted. It was just Roach-like, bro. <laughs> she was a little woman. She was like about like, she was short, bro. She was close to like midget height. She was like four something, five. No, no, she wasn't even five. Pro sorry. She was like 4'11". Or no, 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 no. I would give it like a 4'5". She was like a good four or five. Ugh. She was ignorant. She was annoying. And she came in after my favorite uh, co-worker decided to leave and go to the neck to the other company. And I'm just like, damn, my boy really left. But yeah. She just did whatever she wanted to do. I mean the first day I came in, she already you know, this is COVID. She didn't have a mask, and the policy was that you had to wear a mask. You had to have PPE, gloves, and everything. She wasn't really wearing that. Nah. She just came in and did whatever the hell she wanted to do, and didn't care what anyone thought. It wasn't until one of the mechanics decided to complain to me, and like, hey, you know that little girl over there? Yeah, I, I don't go up to her no more. You know, this and that. I'm like, you want to make a formal complaint? complaint and he was like okay yeah sure so I grabbed out my laptop and I typed in all the things that he said which was uh, no PPE was he she was eating at the desk um, no mask either bare hands on the uh, on the hand sanitizer just a lot of bad stuff that the company does not want to hear so if the company hears that all this is happening they're going to change security companies so of course, like I said, this is kind of a follow up of the last video where I'm just like minding my own business. I'm just the one messaging, you know, I'm the messenger this time. I, I'm not, you know, writing anyone out. <laughs> so <clears throat> I asked him if he wants to use his name and he was like, no, no. So he wanted to stay anonymous. So I wrote the complaint form, I sent it to my boss, and my boss, my account manager, saw the report, the, the complaint form, and she was like, yeah, she needs to be retrained. I don't know who re who trained her or whatever, but she needs to be retrained. Mind you, it was my coworker's job to retrain her because she was a woman and you know, females feel mo a little more comfortable with other females, right? So both the day she was supposed to train her, she called out. The day she was supposed to retrain her, she also called out. So I'm just like, fuck, man. Come on, like, give me a break. Give me a break. So the next day, I come in, and she's sitting there, no mask, no gloves, like usual. And I'm like, hey, uh, you got a formal complaint, and... Uh, the, the boss wants you to get retrained and she was like she looks at me and I know she was annoyed as hell and she was like okay and then just like shrugged her eyes and rolled her eyes all over and so I was like okay so you have to get up and get screened because I'm pretty sure she wasn't screened and she looked at me and I looked at her, and she was like, she was just like, look, I don't know what the hell she was thinking, but she was just staring for no reason. And I'm like, okay, you got to get up and get screened by either me or the other guard. She was like, fine. And I, I literally had to say this like three times before she had to get up. So I told her about how she was eating at the table and then how she was 
not wearing PPE, and she denied it at first. She was like, oh, no, I I was wearing PPE. I was wearing my gloves. I'm like, no, you weren't. Not in the report, it wasn't. And she was just like, that. That's when, it, that's when she stopped talking right there. But she didn't put her food away. So that's the only thing that didn't, like... She didn't want to, you know, do. She didn't want to put her food back where it was supposed to, like in the pantry. She tried to, she she tried so hard to keep it on her desk for some reason. For some, like this bitch was a fat ass, bro. This bitch was a straight up fuck, fat fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone who is like overweight, but I'm just like I'm being serious about this story. So for some reason, after a while, after a while, she decided to put her fucking songs on. And this happened before with my other co-worker, but he was playing Christian songs. So, you know, it wasn't like, there wasn't any cursing. But this, she had like trap music on while like office people were coming in. And I'm just like, yo. And I'm like, Ayo Roach. Now is not the t right time, okay? Can you, like, play that later? You know? Fair. Then she does it again. And I'm like, people are coming in. We don't want to hear that. And that... And she still didn't listen. And so she played it again, like... Alright, I'm back. Uh, my mom came in. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I every time I told her to turn off her music, she would just turn it off. She would say okay, and then turn it back on like five seconds later. The third time she put it on, I literally just fucking gave up. I was like, fuck this shit. Oh my god. Like, I can't fucking train this bitch. And I just went and did my duties outside. So, of course, she wasn't properly trained. And so I had to report it to my boss and, like, what what happened. Because if I don't report it, then everything, like, here's the thing. Like, I'm not trying to be a snitch in this situation. I'm trying to cover myself. So I tr since I trained her, so whatever she does now, it, go, it reflects back on me. So, of course, I have to report and tell her everything that happened. And she was, she wrote everything down and, and uh, tried to talk to her that, uh, the next day. So she goes into the trailer where we were at, and she's like, hey, what's going on, and this and that, and, and like, she found her, <laughs> she caught her with her uniform out of check, like, she was not, it wasn't tucked in, she had no, no belt, it was uncolored, it, she, he, her buttons were unbuttoned, and she was wearing Crocs, and she, she complained about, you know, her being loud, and, <laughs> which is funny, because she is super loud, um, but for some reason, she listened to her. And, you know, after that day, you know, I just, like, didn't really like to talk to her after that. You know, it's just, she was just an asshole. She was just ignorant as fuck, you know. I didn't like her as a person. I didn't like her as a co-worker either, you know. That's, that's pretty much it. You know, I just gave up on her. If she got in trouble, oh, fucking well, not my issue. But, yeah, guys, uh, moral of the story is, don't give people who are annoying attention, you know. They'll just become more annoying. <laughs> and uh, do I still talk to them? Fuck no. Fuck them. Fuck her. <laughs> and fuck my coworkers too because they're, they're the ones that like really got annoyed with me because one of them just straight up called out because she did. I guess she didn't want to get trained or she had something important in her life. But still... She used, she, I know you, what you guys are saying, like, maybe she had something, but, like, it's every single day, it's, it's almost every, like, every week she calls out either once or twice, and I'm just like, really, bro? Like, I don't know how she still has a job. Well, I do know, it's because they're short-handed, and that sucks. Yeah, guys, love you guys, peace.